Hello, welcome to Erin Lee's Beauty. I'm Erin, as you might have guessed. And today we're going to review BoxyCharm's base. And we're going to go over all the products that were in it. I've been trying it out this past week daily. So I'm going to let you all know the journey that I had along the way, some of the things that I enjoyed, and then not so much. Also, if you wanted to subscribe to my channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. We do a lot of unboxing and reviews on the channel. Okay, so the first product that I wanted to go over with everyone today is the Natasha Denona palette. And as you can see, I've definitely been using it this past week. And I got to say, I absolutely, I love it. Um, the colors lasted all throughout the day with me cleaning. I was sweating and everything. They stayed on perfectly fine. Um, they went on pretty easy. They blended on really well. And I really like them a lot. I don't particularly like, there's not enough colors in here for me. I just wanted a little bit more. I just think this is kind of like a strange variation of colors but all around I do really like the product and actually uh today BoxyCharm had a pop-up sale and I was able to get this I was able to get this palette in a different shade for $12 which is normally $48 so it's really great I get to try out different colors of it now so that is sweet the next thing I wanted to talk to you about today was this Terra de Mars body wash and and yes, I did go over it with you all a little bit with the unboxing, but I wanted to let you all know how it's been um, performing throughout the week. I do think it smells nice. Like I did mention before, it is like an aromatherapy type smell. It does have a lather to it. Uh, it doesn't have a really strong, rich, thick lather like I like with soaps, but it's a soap. Would I spend how much money that it costs for? No, I wouldn't. Would I go out and buy it again? No. But, you know, it was okay. I didn't mind getting it in the box. And the next thing I wanted to talk to everyone about today is this Dragon Beauty concealer that I got. And I did mention in my unboxing video that I would have rather had had green because of my redness. But... It's okay. I tried it to highlight and to kind of put underneath the dark circles of the eyes. Yeah. Uh, it does work. I did notice slight differences. Um, however, it's not really for me. It's not something I would go out and buy. I don't really think it does much for me anyways. But it was neat to be able to try it. So there's that one. And then next I have, and this I really think is my favorite. Well, kind of tied with a Natasha Denona palette but this touch and soul primer and I absolutely loved it feels very cooling and hydrating when it goes on the skin and I did really notice a difference with how my foundation applied it applied a lot easier and smoother I thought um, to my face so I really enjoyed it and they also had this in the pop-up and I snagged it for nine dollars because normally it's thirty two dollars and I really did enjoy it a lot so it was a great deal. I think just being a charmer, like, and getting the boxes every month is so awesome. But also just those pop-up sales and being able to get really nice name brand stuff for so cheap once a month is super nice. Let's go ahead and move on to the last product, which is Queen Studio Lash Mascara. And it does work. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, I don't know if you all will be able to see. Okay, I know I need to do my eyebrows. But you can see, um, you can tell you have it on. It is noticeable. Um, it's not super dramatic like some other lashes are or some other mascaras are. But... Um, it does what it's supposed to do. It does last all day. It's supposed to be healthier for your lashes, but I found at the end of the day, I had trouble removing it. I put eye makeup remover on my eyes. I washed my face like four times, 
and was just constantly rubbing my eyes to get it off every night. But I still continue to try it every day, like I promised, just to see if maybe I definitely did it. Um, I'm actually quite happy that this week is coming to an end so that I don't have to use this mascara anymore. Um, and if there's some of you out there that really do like and swear by this mascara, hey, good for you. It may be good for you, but it just does not work well with me. And I just wanted to make this video today to let everyone know about everything that was in the box for April 2021 for BoxyCharm. And I will be posting another video of my Glam Bag Plus. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching.